and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to be talking about the Wired Freedom. Why am I going to be talking about the Wired Freedom? Well, to me, that's the best bike out there, of uh, uh, the cruiser style, for the money. And uh, so I'm going to go over some of the specs again on this bike and tell you why I think it's the best uh, bike for the money. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the money. So this bike is priced at $1,999, and there is a shipping charge as well, but we'll get to that later. So the bike is $1,999, and here's the reasons why I think this bike is worth the money, and better than any other bike out there for the cruiser style. And uh, first off, the motor, it's a 1,500-watt uh, nominal, 3,200-watt peak. There's not too many bikes out there that are the cruiser style that's going to give you that. And we're talking 60 volt as well. This bike is a 60 volt bike. So uh, look around. There's not many bikes out there that are 60 volt. Uh, you might see a few that are 52. Uh, but most bikes are 48 or some are even as low as 36. But 48 is generally what you get in a 750 watt motor. So right there that tells me, okay, this bike is one to seriously consider. And if your budget is $19.99, like the price of this bike, then it's, it's probably going to be one to uh, at least have a good look at. And then next thing we look at is the controller. So the controller is a 45 amp 60 volt controller. And yes, 45 amp is pretty darn good for a bike. Most bikes are going to get a controller that's probably 20. You might get a 25 amp controller, but usually probably 20, 22. Uh, I think my ride one up has an 18 amp controller, 48 volts. So look at the difference there. 45 is quite a bit. And uh, top speed, they claim the bike uh, on their site to go 38 miles per hour, but some people claim they've gotten it up to 40 or slightly more. And I think I have seen videos of uh, some folks like Citizen Cycle who's gotten it to 40 or slightly above even. Um, then let's look at the torque. It's got 153 newton meters of torque. I mean, that's going to get you up any hill um, that you have out there, probably. You know, I don't know of too many bikes that have a, a, a torque of 153 newton meters. We're talking cruiser bikes. I just, I can't even name you one that has that. Uh, let's look at the battery. You don't get one battery. You get two batteries on this bike. You get a 60 volt, 20 amp hour battery on the front and a 15 amp hour uh, battery 60 volt on the rear. So that makes a total of uh, 35 amp hour. Nice size. That's a lot of battery for this uh, price of a bike. Most times you're gonna get at most 20. Somebody might sneak in there 25, but usually 20 or less. Uh, so that's another good deal. And here's another thing that you hardly ever get. I don't even know if you get this anymore. Uh, the Aerial Rider Grizzly is a bike that I used to own. I no longer own it, but that bike came with two chargers. Well, so does this one. It's very rare to have uh, two battery chargers, and the handy thing about that is you can charge both batteries at the same time. And uh, that makes it a lot better than waiting for the one to charge up fully and then switching and charging up the other one. So uh, they're a three amp charger, which is decent. I mean, most chargers are two or two and a half or three. So it's right there. And the fact that you get two of them makes it that much better. Uh, range. Let's see. The bike has a range of 90 miles, they say, up to 90 miles. And of course, that's in pedal assist one. And it's always debatable on range. Uh, I'm not going to touch that one too much because I don't know. The bike may do 90 uh, uh, miles, but... I have my doubts on that one, but at that at that uh, pedal assist one under awesome conditions, no hills, a light rider that doesn't weigh uh, too much um, might very well get 90. So I can't say it doesn't, but I wouldn't expect that. Um, that might be a little bit high, but I don't know. Like I say, I can't really say definitively, but I'm always skeptical on the uh, range. Twist throttle it has, which is nice. Um, I'm getting used to having bikes a lot lately with thumb throttles, but uh, twist throttles is good. I like the twist throttle. 
I'm not really fussy over any of them now. Now that I had the thumb throttle on my past few bikes, um, I'm kind of liking it, but um, I do like the uh, twist throttle, particularly a full twist throttle would be nice. Uh, it does have uh, five levels of pedal assist. It has a seven speed shifter, full suspension, which is always a good thing. And especially on a bike like, the, like this, um, that goes a little bit faster. And um, yeah, I just like having the full suspension. Uh, brakes, so it does have four piston hydraulic disc brakes, another plus, but most bikes these days are coming with uh, hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Getting back to that suspension for a moment, uh, a lot of bikes too only give you front uh, suspension, so this one having full is definitely a plus. Uh, look at the uh, brakes, uh, four piston as I mentioned. They have uh, 203 millimeter rotors, so pretty good size rotors uh, on the bike for the brakes. Tires, it has uh, 26 by four inch Kenda fat tires. I'm a big fan of the fat tire bikes. Um, so uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, 26 uh, by four. Uh, the handlebars are BMX style. That's uh, probably my favorite style of handlebar. Uh, next, we got the uh, rack. It does come with the rear rack. As you see, the battery goes under the rack, and then you got the rack on above to put anything you want to put as far as cargo goes. And it does include fenders on the bike. All right, and let's look at the colors. This bike has several choices of colors. Unlike most uh, bikes these days, uh, they come in generally white, black, gray, Sometimes you'll get a red or a blue, but those are usually the colors that you get to choose from. And uh, this bike has several colors, and I'm going to tell you the colors. Blue, dark blue, black, orange, white, or lime green. So several to choose from there. Out of those colors, I kind of like that lime green. Uh, that looks pretty cool to me, but that's just my choice. Um, but uh, like I say, you have several choices there to choose from. Uh, I want to look one more time at the cost. So the bike is $19.99. As, as I mentioned earlier, I think this is as good a deal as you're going to get out there. I've done research. I was just looking here recently uh, today on these bikes. And if I had $2,000 to spend and I'm looking for a cruiser bike, what bike can I get? What's out there? Uh, you know what? It's hard to find any that are 60 volt. And at this price... I saw a few dual motors, uh, bikes that are uh, more expensive, and the sometimes they only put a 750 watt motor on the front and rear. So this one has a 1500 watt that peaks at 3200, so you're going to have more power. Personally, I probably would rather have the one large motor, as long as it can get me up the hills. Uh, I would take that over the dual motor. A lot less to go wrong with one motor, and I don't know, I just like that. Also, with the dual motor, you have uh, you can have spin outs in the front um, that um, could cause you to lose control of the bike. And also, it can at times feel a little bit more clunky or heavy in the front end because you've got that motor in the front wheel. So, yeah, I like I personally, I like the uh, rear hub motor and uh, I would prefer one motor um, that's large enough to get me up the hills. And uh, so before I tell you that, well, let's go with the price. So it's $19.99 again. And what I wanted to talk about was the shipping. So I did say at the beginning of the video that th there is a shipping charge. So I put in my state here of Oregon and my address for the cost. And it's $275 flat rate here for here. Now, I don't know. It said flat rate. Now, I don't know if that means for the whole state of Oregon or the whole country. So you might want to uh, do a little look-see before you purchase the bike to make sure you're okay with the shipping charge. And uh, so altogether for me to buy this bike, it's $2,274. In the state of Oregon, there's no sales tax, so I don't have to pay that. So that makes a difference too for me. Um, you know, a little bit less to have to spend out uh, on taxes. So that's a look at the uh, Wired Freedom. And uh, one more thing I wanted to mention about it is uh, they have a new bike out wired called the, uh, it's the uh, Wired Predator, I almost forgot the name, and it's a dual motor, and it's $3,300.
So it's $1,300 more than this bike. And I think personally, unless you really need the dual motor for hill climbing, um, I'm in a hilly area right here too myself, but I think you might be able to get away with this bike with just the one motor because it does have a 153 newton meters of torque. We're talking 60 uh, volt bike. And I don't see why you would have a problem climbing hills. So I don't know if there's a real need for the second motor. It might get you three or four miles per hour or more, but what's that? If your bike can go close to 40 and you can, with the dual motor, get closer to 45, do you really need that extra five miles per hour? I don't think so, especially at paying $1,300 more. That's just a personal thing. Uh, for me, I would stick with this bike. That's a great price at $19.99. Save my $1,300 on buying the uh, Wired Predator. But let me know what you think in the uh, uh, description or in the uh, comments below. And uh, what would you do? Would you rather have this or go for the uh, $1,300 more expensive Wired uh, Predator? So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And leave a comment on this or any other videos down below in the comments. I like to hear from everybody and what they think on different things. And let me know how you like this setup with the uh, studio setup when we get rainy days like today with some pretty good downpours. Um, so uh, I'd rather uh, do in studio and save myself from getting drenched. Uh, I'm going to go out and do videos in the rain, but I just don't want to do it all the time now. I'm going to try to uh, kind of do a little bit of this and the ride outside both in the winter here coming up uh, to kind of save me from uh, being out there in the wet and cold every single day because I put up a video pretty much every day. So that's going to do it for this video. And thank you for joining me on this one. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.